there's been this curious phenomenon we've all witnessed recently, which is where billionaire philanthropists leave their fortunes, or some portion of them, to charitable causes. And this always didn't quite sit right with me. And I think it's primarily because you have to consider how they got their fortunes, how much harm and injustice was created in the process. And if it's significant, then the money is tainted. Not to make a direct comparison, because they are not necessarily equivalent, but if a mafia boss gave money to a charity, it would be understandably and unsurprisingly controversial. So, for example, if a billionaire has undermined workers' rights or illegally prevented people from forming unions for collective bargaining, mistreated or underpaid workers, or whatever the case may be, the fact that they're engaged in philanthropy doesn't necessarily negate the damage that was caused to secure those proceeds in the first place if they were not generated ethically. In addition, many in the billionaire class have lobbied for and supported policies, political causes, and politicians that have undermined the well-being of workers and society at large, causing untold damage in the past, present, and future. Many have also promoted and personally benefited from tax policies which distinctly and disproportionately favor the ultra-wealthy at the expense of countless people. So as much as we are initially inclined to applaud philanthropy, it is often used as a cover or smokescreen for truly reprehensible uncharitable, and immoral attitudes and behavior. Behavior in many cases which has frayed the fabric of society, as well as democracy, and will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. Finally, government expenditures run into the trillions of dollars, and philanthropy is no substitute for social programs and legislation which protects and benefits the rights and well-being of the population. Karmically, balance must be restored. That means that there must be an equal and opposite effort commensurate with the harm that was caused or created in order to balance karma. So, no. Philanthropy is not and should not be a get-out-of-jail-free card for significant past misdeeds until all actions, right and wrong, have been accounted for and balanced, as well as their effects on the past, present, and future. This is not to suggest that people should not engage in charitable or philanthropic activities as karma is cumulative. All deeds are noted and accounted for, as well as their underlying intentions and motivations, for all time in the Akashic Records. I personally speculate that these statistically extremely rare individuals, incarnated to have these kinds of experiences, precisely to test how they would act under those rarefied circumstances. To wield such power and to do so ethically and with pure intentions would be quite the challenge indeed. <laughs>